Hello YouTube, Psychofox here. Uh, this is uh, my GoTech drive for the Amstrad PCW. Uh, this will work on the 8256 and 8512 in the upper drive slot. It's pretty much um, the same thing as the Amstrad CPC GoTech. Uh, the difference is it's got a custom 3D printed mount there. Uh, it's got flash flock on it and it's got all the necessary files in the 8 gig USB stick. Uh, we've got special custom made cables there to connect to the 26 pin um, Amstrad ribbon cable and the power connector there because the power supply is different uh, to the original drive that we'll be replacing. So this comes with a little speaker there to simulate drive noise. It's also got a little green LED that lights up when it's loading and OLED screen there. So yeah, very nice little piece of kit and I'm actually selling uh, these on eBay at the moment. I'm just uh, getting some more stock so I can take orders if anyone's interested. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's uh, see it in action in the PCW. So there's a the drive installed in the, uh, that GoTech installed in the upper drive slot there. Fits neatly in that 3D printed uh, mounting there. You've got the green LED there, the up and down, USB stick and the OLED display. Now the USB stick's got all the files you need on it. It's got CPM, which the uh, the operating system which the computer will boot into. It's also got 140 games on there, which is pretty much every game that's so far been preserved digitally, which is a good thing to have. Because some of these games, they're getting very hard to find and they're very unreliable on the original 3-inch disc. So what you do is you just turn on as normal. It'll boot to uh, CPM. So there we go, CPM. Disk 1B CPM, it's uh, shown as on the OLED. So then all you do is uh, just scroll up and down until you find what you want. So let's just pick a um, let's just pick a game. I mean, obviously, if you get something like um, Fairlight here, we've got. If you want to look at the directory, once that's selected, it's just DIR, enter, it'll show you what's in the directory. So if you want to load this, you just press F and enter because it says F.com. So that's what I do if you want to load Fairlight. So let's just have a go at that. I mean, other games, if, they, if you look at the directory and it says uh, Batman EMS or something, that's just uh, Shift Extra Exit to load the game. But for this one, because it says .com, We'll load it like this. So I don't know if you can hear the drive noise. Obviously the drive loading uh, times are the same. So there we've got Fairlight loading up. So I'll just um, turn it off, it'll reset straight like the CPM. I'll just show you the alternative way that games like to be loaded. So we've got a bit of distortion at the top there, that's just this old monitor. So if we go for another classic game, let's go for Batman. Help if I went the right way, wouldn't it? So we've got Batman selected there on the little OLED screen. So if we do DIR now you'll just see that it's just called Batman but if you type that in it won't work. You need to do shift extra exit. So we do that and there's Batman. Simple as that. So that's the way you load games on this thing. Oh, and you've got that lovely sound effect. So yeah, it's something I've always wanted for the PCW uh, to load games off a USB because the discs just they're getting so unreliable. So yeah, obviously it just um, it plays absolutely. Uh, 
as per the original. I mean, as far as the computer is concerned, it's just playing off um, a floppy disk. It knows no difference. You can use, um, I've got LocoScript 2 on here as well, so you can do word processing or play games such as this. So yeah, just, um, yeah, if anyone's interested, just let me know because, um, like I say, I've got um, a few of these made. And uh, yeah, I think it's um, a nice little product, a nice easy way to enjoy the old games on the PCW. Thanks for watching, guys.